What's up everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and here's the update. We are, I have a text that says he's going to take care of it, but I don't know what that means. We're back to Gotham Dream Car. But we have more than one car here, so hopefully that gets resolved sooner rather than later. Um, good news, just added a portion of the fleet. I'll do a full video on that and why we chose to do it and why that's the one car. We lost money in January, no, not January, uh, March and April. We usually make money in March and April. We lost money in March and April. May, we actually uh, made a couple of dollars. Not much, not as, nearly as much as we usually do. And we also didn't buy the amount of cars that we would normally add to the fleet in that time. But we did buy that because that's needed. Now, today's video, uh, I... I well aware of protests and everything going on across the country. Support the protests. Don't support the looting or the violence. And today, and I still don't even understand it. Like, why do you have to bust into a Gucci store and steal stuff? Like, it's valueless. Like, it makes no sense to me. But that reminds me that we overvalue silly things. And I'm going to tell you today why I drive what I drive and how you can own that and just say, I don't know five or seven years, all by yourself, just by not doing what most people choose to do, right? And before I get to that, uh, I wanna let you know that Liberty Mutual is reading your comments. They reached out to me. Uh, they are aware of the situation. Uh, they are trying to look into it further. There wasn't much in the file that they, they were expecting. So they're gonna try to find the phone call, but I am in touch with somebody at Liberty Mutual who reached out to me. Thank you guys for that. And I will let you know if they do the right thing and they get to the bottom of it. I'm rooting for them, but I will keep you in the loop if that happens and when that happens. But let me go show you what I drive every day. Uh, and most of you guys know it already. It's not that, but you can also own that. But same, same point as this video. This is what I drive. Uh, this is a $1,000 Mercedes. I bought it for 1100 bucks. And... I haven't washed it in three years. Don't care. It's not, not really my concern. I think I washed it the day I got it, but then after that, nothing. Let me give you a little tour. And this isn't like I prepped my car. This is what my car looks like every day. Construction helmet. Oh, that's a ooh, GoPro mount. Look at that. That comes in handy. This is the older GoPro. Here I've got uh, I got my PEX manifold. I've got some string. I've got my blazer. This is like a staple for ready because this thing it just doesn't wrinkle. So I just throw this over a t-shirt and we're good to go. I got my kids seat. I got some garbage bags. I've got just some loose stuff in the back, but the back of the car is an absolute nightmare. Uh, almost as bad as the trunk, but I don't really have a. Like, this stuff doesn't really have a home. Like, I'm living in an apartment while I'm building my house. I don't want to move it there because then i got to move it in and out. The trunk here. 1,000 feet of PEX tubing. A couple of pairs of uh, dirty boots. I've got high school yearbooks. Some tools, so if I need some tools. Uh, this jacket, which I'm, you know, I'm going to put it on and then probably just throw it away unless somebody wants to get it. You just message me. I'll throw it away on Monday. But this jacket was a gift from my parents, right? I'm gonna see if I can do this for Christmas one year. Because this this said, I guess so, right? This is my, my parents got me this. And it doesn't really scream my my personality, you know? But this is leather, right? Yeah, I'd sub it. Would you like it? No, it's not. Okay, no, no, it's uh, I don't know, it's fuzzy inside, which is nice. But, uh, sorry, I was talking to the neighbors, but this jacket, not really me. Mom, dad, I know you probably watch my videos, but what are you thinking of this? And I don't know why I keep it. I probably had this for like 12 or 15 years, but who knows? One day when I'll need it, it'll come in handy. The point is to show you that this car, I don't care about this car, right? This car has, oh man, I just pinched my, 
pinched my hose in the trunk. This car, you see this hole? I ripped this hole by using this to tow a car in the winter and then it got stuck. So we ripped it out with a forklift. But it doesn't matter because the car only cost a thousand bucks. And as long as it closes, I'm happy. When you come in here, never been vacuumed. So every time I get out of the dirt from my construction site, comes into the car and that's it. This here, this wrench, that's to open the hood because that tab broke off. And then once we get in there, right? You have to pull this out to do the emergency release. So like just absolute crap, right? Now I did spend the 500 bucks to do the star headliner just because I thought it was cool. But the guys that did it, it literally broke like the first day. So they put it in and then the, it has a remote to change the colors and everything like that. Crapped out, doesn't work. And we're left with this, which is these lights of the rose on. So as long as I start the car every couple of days, um, it's all right. And if I don't, and I, and I know when I don't, it, like it'll go too long, the car will turn over, but then some of the accessory features won't work. Air conditioning, heated seats, all that stuff doesn't work. Um, but other than that, the, the car, it reads that it needs oil every once in a while. So, I mean, it's probably I'm 5,000 miles overdue. I don't do anything to this car and it's nice because I don't have to spend very much on a thousand dollar car if it just goes to crap, right? Who cares? Like just throw it away and get another one. Like I'm not going to spend $3,500 to fix this. I've had this car for three years now. It's cost me whatever, a hundred bucks and I could even sell it for 2,500 bucks or whatever or to a thousand, even if I get my money back, it costs me zero. Here's the problem that a lot of people don't do. And here's why if you do something like this and you don't care about people, most people go out there, they get their job, they're all happy, they go, and I've done it too, don't get me wrong. I drove Range Rovers every day, I've, I've done stupid stuff. If instead of doing that, you buy a cheap car, drive the cheap car, it's cheaper to insure, doesn't really cost anything. I put 87 octane in that thing. You don't even think about it, right? If somebody dings it, it's not like, oh my God, I gotta run it to the body shop. And then somebody dings it again. You don't worry about it. If it gets bashed up, it gets bashed up. You do that and you're going to save so much money. Everybody's so like, like real estate agent minded that like, oh, I gotta drive a Mercedes. So everyone thinks I'm super successful. Why? Like, so what ends up happening is all these people go out and they lease a BMW, the bullshit ones, the ones that everybody's got, right? The, the three series, the, the maybe a five series and they're spending just say and like everyone's like oh it's only 449 a month yeah but they asked for six grand down and you had to pay this and you had to pay that just say on average people are spending 750 bucks a month to have a a nice car because you've earned it right you've earned it and you're stuck driving those cars your entire life because you can't get ahead at that point in time if you make the same amount of money that you would be making but you drive that instead you're way ahead of the game. Now you're talking about, and not even the insurance factor, but say you're spending 750 bucks a month to lease a car, cause you got a decent job, you make 60 grand a year, you're a happy guy. Spending that money is costing you $9,000 a year. For me, that costs virtually nothing. Like it's, it's, I'm owning the car even, I'm not even, it's on my, one of my policies, it costs me almost nothing to insure. So if I'm saving $8,000, just say $8,000 a year, maybe I, I have to, change the tires every once in a while or do some sort of basic maintenance. If I'm saving $8,000 a year, how long is it before one of these, which isn't gonna lose any value, becomes yours? So you can have a BS car to drive every day and an NSX or even like my Ferrari. My Ferrari cost right around 80 grand when I bought it in, in, uh, for adventure drives. That was a 12,000 mile, uh, 2004, 360 Spider. And I mean, you, you look around this shop, you can own that. I mean, that's gonna depreciate, but you can own it. You can own that. You can own that. These cars are all around the same 80, 70, 90,000. You can own this. I like to go with the older cars like this because it's gonna hold its value longer and you can buy it and sell it and get all your money back. Like if I go to sell this car, I've legitimately owned it for years. I've driven it 
and I get all the money I paid for it right back. So yes, I have to pay to maintain it, but at the end of the day, you, I mean, who doesn't want this in their garage, right? Who doesn't want a Ferrari in their garage? And now you're, you're going out and you're, instead of driving a, a Audi a A5 or, a, or whatever, a, a three series BMW or even a, an E-Class or not even, even a C-Class Mercedes, you get yourself one of these in like six years, which sounds like a lot, right? But think back six years, does that seem like a long time ago? No. And spending that 750 bucks a month just to be like, oh yeah, oh, is that your new Mercedes? Yeah, I lease it. You're stuck in the lease cycle forever. And you're always driving a new three series or a new Escalade or whatever that new car is. And you're just blowing all this money and you could very simply be able to get one of those. It's just a different way of thinking about stuff and, and thinking about the, the riots now and, and what people are looting for, for what? You're looting and you're stealing what? Like garbage, it's, it's like, oh my God, can you believe Fendi got robbed? Who cares, it's $700 in bags. Like, yes, they charge you 7,000 per bag, but it's the same crap. Like, it's all nonsense that it's, it's really valueless. They don't care, they've got insurance, it'll pay for it. So, but the fact that that's what people are going for is astonishing to me. Like, nothing that they actually need, everyone's breaking in and, and stealing big screen TVs and, and whatnot. So, A, don't riot, B, don't be violent. C, protest, say what you want, voice your opinion. That's the only way to affect change in this world. But just like think about what you're doing. Uh, and, and I'm not trying to get involved in politics because I don't generally care too much, but this seems to be the hot topic right now. So um, just to wrap up, if you decided you wanted to own one of these and the idea is that like I'm never going to be able to afford it, I just told you how. Just lose the mediocrity, lose the, the desire to have and make people think you have such a cool car by leasing a vehicle and just always paying into the depreciation cycle. You never own anything. Buy something you can own, you don't have a payment, you could take that same money, you put it to the side, and if you wanted to buy this in cash, you're talking six, seven years. If you wanted to buy it when you can afford it, you're talking three years of saving up money, and then the rest would just be from the savings. So in three years of driving a crap car, instead of, a, instead of your leased BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Range Rover, you can have something like that and still drive and get to work and not have to worry about using that as an everyday car. It's just something that most people don't think about, but that's for you to think about. That's why I drive a thousand dollar car every day. And I mean, it's, it's, can I drive Range Rover? Yes, I've done the Range Rovers, I've done that cycle. It's just every time I look at a bill or something like that, I'm like, this is pretty stupid. When I wanna go drive something nice, I grab that, I grab this. But otherwise, every day driving to a restaurant, do you really have to be the cool guy pulling up to the restaurant all the time? I mean, I get that's part of the car scene, but at the end of the day, what's wrong with pulling up in that? It's like, it's just, it's a car. It gets you point A to point B. It's got heated seats, it's got air conditioning. What more do you really want? Well, that's what I got. I hope you enjoy my thousand dollar car as much as I do. And um, you now know why I drive a thousand dollar car every day. It's just a smarter thing to do with money. It took me 15 years to get, to maybe, no, not even that. Cause I had my BMW before that, the, the $3,000 five series. It took me about, 12 years of, of wasting money and, and buying my wife uh, a Range Rover for $40,000. It's a couple years old, then selling it for 20 and being like, wow, for the amount of money we just spent on that with maintenance and this and that, we could have leased a brand new one. So why are we paying for the depreciation? Like, don't buy into the depreciation. That's the key. Do not buy into depreciation. When you're buying a lease, all you're doing is buying into depreciation and it's not the way to go. You can own this if you decided to just drive that and not buy into the depreciation of a BS car to feel cooler every day. That's what I got. So you guys are familiar with my other company, Adventure Drives, right? Well, this year we've got two trips coming up. One which is starting in Seattle and ending in Jackson Hole in July. That's going up through the Canadian Rockies, coming down through Banff, Yellowstone, Glacier National Park, and Grand Teton National Park. It's going to be phenomenal. Also, we're going to be going to Scotland in October. We're going to be doing Scotch distilleries, playing golf at St. Andrews if you want to do that, walking around, seeing lakes, 
waterfalls, driving the North Coast. It's going to be an amazing trip. Prices start as low as $2,500 per person for the shorter trip in Scotland, about double that for the longer trip in July. If you're interested in going, check out the link in the description.